So, Zalman leaves us with uh, 4,000 quid and Jeremy hooks it back to Huntington. Now it's time to meet tonight's ten new contestants. They are... James Plaskett from East Sussex. <laughs> Ian Phillips from Lancashire. Mark Rogers from Nottingham. Barry Snelling from Berkshire. Barbara Waite from West Yorkshire. Lance Jones from Essex. Lee Cartwright from Nottinghamshire. Michael Rooney from County Antrim. David Evans from London. And Ben Jones from Avon. Right, that's your ten contestants for tonight. Fastest finger first, then. As always, I'm going to give you uh, a question and four possible answers. Whoever gets the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is the first tonight to play for £1 million. Nice and quiet, please, in the audience. I want them to concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here it comes. Starting with the earliest, put these four women in order according to the year of their birth. Here they come. Bodicea, Cleopatra, Florence Nightingale, Marie Antoinette. OK, let's check the right order then first and see who got it right in the fastest time. Four women in order. Uh, Cleopatra back in 69 BC. Then Bodicea in the first century. Mary Antoinette in 1755. And then Florence Nightingale in 1820. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. All who's got it right? Lee Cartwright was fast in 6.227. You ready for this? No. <laughs> well, you have to do it, that's why you're here. Come on, yeah. let's go. <laughs> OK, Lee, for 100 quid. Who famously rode naked through the streets of Coventry? Lady Godiva, Queen Elizabeth I, Sir Francis Drake, or Henry VIII? I'm not a pretty sight. Lady Godard and Chris. He's right answer, you've got £100. Well done. <laughs> OK, take as long as you need on each one. Question number two is worth 200 quid. Which weather condition do you associate with bolts, claps, clouds and rumbles? Blizzard, wind, fog, thunder. Thunder, Chris. Sure. You look worried. That's right, you've got 200 quid, no problem. <laughs> Have a look at this, worth 300 quid. Which name traditionally goes with Joan to denote a long-time happily married couple? Dutch, Denzel, Derby or Dagmar? I think I'll go Derby. It's good, you got 300 quid. <laughs> right, have a look at this for 500 pounds. Question number four, you've still got all three lifelines. Have a look. On which kind of food would you be most likely to find a parson's nose? Coconuts, mushrooms, prawns, poultry. Poultry. It's good, you got £500. <laughs> right, first important milestone, Lee, you've got £500. You would drop back to nothing if you gave me a wrong answer, but you've got all three lifelines still intact. This is worth a guaranteed £1,000. Here it is, question number five. Which of these songs was a hit for the Rolling Stones? Brown Sugar, Sugar Sugar, Sugar Baby Love, Tea for Two. <sighs> Brown Sugar. Not Tea for Two. <laughs> That's Mick and Keith classic. <laughs> <laughs> Send to me Brown Sugar. Yeah. That's right, Lance. You've got a thousand pounds. Well done. <laughs> OK, you've got £1,000, you've still got all three lifelines. Have a look at the next one, you might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Here it comes. Which language gave us the phrase represented by the initials AD? English, Greek, French, Latin. Latin. Do you want to use the lifeline? It's up to you. No, it's Latin. <laughs> Final answer? Yeah, final answer. What do you think it stands for? Anno Domini. Final answer you're going to play? Definitely. 
You got £2,000. <laughs> and a Domini, which is Latin for in the year of our Lord. You've still got three lifelines. Have a look at this, Lee. It's worth £4,000. In which English city is the National Portrait Gallery? Bradford, Cambridge, London, Oxford. <laughs> Three lifelines. I think I'll play one. I'll ask the audience. OK. Audience, on your keypads, please. It's worth £4,000. Let's get Lee up to £4,000 at least. Question number seven of 15. A will be Bradford. B, Cambridge. C, London. D, Oxford. All vote now. Two percent think the National Portrait Gallery is in Bradford. <laughs> Three percent think it's in Cambridge. Ninety think it's in London. Five percent are saying Oxford. It's your call, Lee. I'll go with London. Not Bradford. <laughs> no, not Bradford. Final answer. Yes. You had two thousand pounds. Thanks to this audience, you've now got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Uh, Lee, take your time. This question's worth £8,000. You can obviously take the money any time you want from here on, but if you give me a wrong answer, you drop back to £1,000. You're guaranteed £1,000 tonight, at least. Have a look at this, question number 8 of 15. Next one's worth £8,000. Here it comes. What is the nationality of tennis star Martina Hingis? German. Dutch. Belgian. Swiss. She's Swiss. Not Belgian? No, not Belgian. Swiss. Not Dutch? Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss? Mm hmm Final answer? Yes. You got £8,000. <laughs> he was actually born in what was then Czechoslovakia. You got £8,000. If you gave me a wrong answer, money gets a bit steep now and the drops are a bit steep. You would lose £7,000, but it's worth £16,000 to you. Have a look at it, see if you can double your money. On which West Indian island did Rastafarianism originate? Jamaica, Cuba, St Lucia, Trinidad. It's worth £16,000. I've got to go Jamaica. Confident? Relatively. Got 50 50 phone a friend if you want. No, I'll, I'll go Jamaica. Not Trinidad. Final answer? Yeah. You had £8,000. You got £16,000. You still got your 50 50. You still got phone a friend. Have a look at this. It's worth £32,000. <sighs> Question number 10 of 15. Who wrote the bestsellers Light a Penny Candle and Circle of Friends? Barbara Taylor Bradford, Maeve Binchy, Joanna Trollope, or Mary Wesley? You've got £16,000, you can walk away. You've got a 50-50. You can phone a friend. You can play both lifelines and still take the money. Yeah, I'll, um, go 50-50. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Lee just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. We'll, uh, I think we'll use the telephone. Who are you going to call? I've got the one covered. Uh, Bev. Bev? Bev. OK. 30 seconds. Uh, tell her, her? Him. To him. Tell him the question and just two possible answers. One of those is worth £32,000 to you.
Hello. Bev. Hello. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Chris. Good evening, Bev. Um, I've got Lee here, Lee Cartwright. Yeah. Uh, he's on £16,000. Oh, brilliant. Well, brilliant, but it could be a lot better with your help, Bev. <laughs> He'll tell you... I hope so. Well, I hope so. He'll tell you the question, and there are only two possible answers. One is wrong, and one is right. If you can give him the right answer, it's worth £32,000 to him, and a suspected drink for you, Bev. I'll try my best. All right, mate. OK, Lee, your time starts now. Bev. Hello, Lee. Who wrote the bestsellers, Light a Penny Candle and Circle of Friends? Is it Maeve Binchy or Joanna Trollope? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, Lee, I'm not into romantic uh, writers. That's fair enough. Uh, fair I enough. don't know at all, Lee, I'm sorry. It's all right, no problem. Right. It's up to you, you've got a 50-50 chance of 32,000. Would be nice, but no, I'll go. Show me the money. Not to attempt it? No. No. Sorry. Definitely. I've done. Def Definitely. Give him a big hand. I think he's on the right thing. <laughs> I can't tell you if they had known it or Lee had guessed it. If you said to me, Maeve Binchy, you would be on £32,000. That's the right answer. You hadn't a clue. I think you had to do the right thing. He goes away. Lee Cartwright goes back to Mansfield for the kids. It's £16,000. Good night. Thank you. Good night.